so let us create our video lesson so let me select the youtube from here from the popular channels and you will be able to see a lot of videos available here that have been used by other people other colleagues okay or if you wish to search for any particular video so let's say i want to search for an a video on information technology so you can just search that okay so let us take up the first video this is the uh, information technology one minute video or you can choose uh, whichever video you feel like so let me use this one the first one okay i just click on this and this video will open up in a new page now you can see so okay so i have selected this particular video and below that you can see this video has already been used uh, it ha it has 17 versions of this video so these people have uh, created this video in their own uh, format okay so you can see these are the this video has four questions so the video created by crystal manning has four questions and one voice note Ken kenisha has also created this video and it has four questions so there are 17 versions of this particular video okay so if we wish to use any of the already created video and any of the already created versions then you can just select this particular any of the videos you wish to so all these uh, options are for this video only so these are the different versions created by different teachers from all over the world who are using edpuzzle so they have created their own version of this particular video so the video is same they have added their questions they have added voice notes or anything else they have added or they have cropped it according to their time all right so let's say i do not want to uh, use any of these uh, versions and I want to create my own version okay so I do not want to use any of these I want to create my own version so then on the right hand side you see the option of edit okay so you just click on edit and then it will open up a new page as a new page with all the options for editing this particular video so here you are and on the top you can see three options cut voiceover and questions okay so the first option is cut you can directly cut this particular video from anywhere you like okay so let's say uh, you are sharing a particular video which is uh, really long let's say it is a one hour long video and you do not want to uh, want your students to uh, see each and everything in that particular video and you want to show only the important things or some important part from that particular video so that in that case this cut option comes up so uh, you can just skip the rest of the video and you can just cut that particular part that you wish to share with your students all right so uh, let's play this video first and i will check out that uh, where i would like to cut it okay so let's play this have you heard about it information technology it it get it it's the stuff you do right now so connecting downloading uploading okay. creating sharing so gonna, uh, playing mixing match let me just mute it so as soon as the video start uh, starts playing you will see the option of add cut okay so before that you will see the option of these two this is the cut from you can start this uh, you can skip the starting or you can skip the ending if you wish to cut it from the beginning or from the end these two options are available to just simply cut your video as in any other video cutting tool okay from the front as well as from the back okay so whichever way you like you can just cut it from the backwards or from the forward okay so this is the general option and as soon as you start playing the video this option will come up for adding a cut in between okay so sometimes it, it may be that you want to uh, uh, show share with your students some two three important things from that particular video and it is a hour long video so uh, it is a 50 minutes or 55 minutes long video and you do not want your students to take up all of that content and you want to share a 5 minute piece from the first section, 5 minute piece after 30 minutes. Okay, so in that case what you can do is you can add cuts at various places. Okay, so since this is a really short video, uh, it is just a 1 minute video. So, but in that also I will uh, show you how, to, how you can add a cut. Okay. So let's say I do not want to cut it from the beginning and I do not want, I want to cut it from the end. Okay, so I want to end it up at 57 seconds. 
or you can just play it and you can identify where you want to cut your video all right now so as soon as i start playing have you heard about it information tech has come up and now i can move this cursor to anywhere and let's say i want to add a cut here okay so i want to cut this video from here so let's say i click on add cut okay so you can see the video has been split into two parts the first part is having the beginning and ending section and the second part is again having the beginning and ending section so i have inserted a cut so i can now move it from here and i do not want my students to see this particular part and i want to skip these 5 10 seconds and then i wish them to see again all right then again you start playing and then add cut option will be again visible there's more okay you where see. you can go and the add cut option has again been activated then you again you can insert another cut wherever you feel like okay so let's say uh, i introduce another cut here okay so another cut has been introduced here and i can move this one here oh so i merged it by mistake okay now i can move it okay so i have introduced three cuts and this is the final video that uh, i had fin final content that i want to share with my students okay so video cutting is really easy while you are using your add puzzle videos now let us move to the second option that is the voice over so we have uh, cut the video accordingly that uh, as much content i want to share with my student i have selected that particular content and i have cut it accordingly all right now moving on to the voice over section so this section is uh, not available right now because uh, due to the service conditions of youtube uh, it does not allow voice overs so voice over basically means the uh, original of voice of the video will be uh, it will be uh, duplicated by your audio whatever you record okay so this option is available so if you wish to insert any audio notes that you can do that but the complete voice over for that particular video will not be possible so this uh, option has been taken away from the ad puzzle okay so youtube has taken up this option that you cannot voice over the content available on youtube okay but you can uh, voice over your content if you have re uh, pre recorded your own video so let's say you have your own recorded video then you can obviously voice over it accordingly okay so you can use the voice over option for uh, choosing any of the uh, already recorded video of yours all right so this is since we are using a youtube video so it does not allow us uh, because of the youtube terms of service to voice over okay now let's move on to the questions now this is the questions section so where you want to add the questions and now there are three types of questions that you can add uh, not basically questions so the first one is obviously the multiple choice question okay so in this case it will be automatically graded if you add all the multiple choice questions so the assignment or this video lesson will be automatically graded like in google forms we do that and then you can add an open ended question okay so you can just uh, ask the responses or their uh, views about the particular video so you can ask an open ended question and you can add a note okay you can add a written comment or you can add a audio note so i'll be explaining all of these options one by one so let's add uh, first so let's add a multiple choice question okay so let's uh, play the video and uh, select a location where you want to add a particular question so let me play this video have you heard about it information technology it so here it uh, she's uh, she has said that uh, what is information technology it is talking about information technology so let me add a question at this 5 seconds So I click on this multiple choice questions, and here you see a variety of options available. So if you are using any uh, important, uh, let's say this, these mathematical options are also available. You can add superscript, subscript, and you can add a insert an equation also. 
okay so let's say you are uh, using any mathematical uh, video so then you can uh, ask certain questions based on that video by introducing the equations you can add images also if you wish to add any particular image you can add links also in this particular question okay so i'm just writing a simple question you can use the, the these options according to your requirement so this video is about information technology so i am going to ask what is this video about okay so i just want to know from my students that they are listening or not or they have checked it from the beginning or not okay now in the answer section again all of these options are available and here you type in your choices so let's say i uh, insert the options of information technology and in the second option I add up about humans okay and you can add another choice if you wish to so let's say I want to add another choice and let's say it's about elephants all right so you can add anything any option you like and then you have these options for selecting the correct answer so green tick means this is the correct answer so in this case it is the green uh, green tick signifies the correct answer so let's say if i wish to choose uh, humans as the correct answer then i click on this option i uncheck this and these two options will be marked as correct so if any of the students marks these two options so they will be given the answer so you can select the correct answer by clicking on this uh, by checking this green tick okay so i am checking only the first option that is information technology which is the correct answer for the rest of the options i am marking a cross okay and then i click on save it now the question ha this notifies that a question has been added and below you will see you will be able to see what you have edited in this particular video so the total duration of the video you can see is 50 seconds because we have cut it at several places so the total duration is now 50 seconds and at 5 seconds we have added a multiple question what this video is about and then you see the options of editing this question or you can delete this particular question all right so we have done the uh, first part of adding a multiple choice question all right now again i start it the video. get it it's the stuff you do right now. Connecting down. Okay. So moving on, let me forward it here. And now uh, here I want to add, uh, let's say I want to add an open-ended question or I want to insert a note here. So let's say first we add a note and I will uh, and add an open-ended question in the end. Okay. So let me add a note here. Okay. So in the first option, you can add a note it as a written comment okay it basically is a written comment so it is saying enter your note here or click on the microphone to record the audio so i can add a written comment here so this video talks about information technology okay so these are basically the uh, added uh, clearance or added explanation regarding any particular uh, topic or any particular variable anything that you are discussing in this particular video okay so this is the uh, written note or if i wish to add a audio note then i can just click on this microphone option and i can record this particular note so let's say i want to record this as a audio note i do not want to uh, add it as a written comment i want to add it as a audio note so let me click on this microphone option and it will ask you to allow for using your microphone so let me allow it and now it starts this video talks about information technology and i paused it stopped it okay and here you can listen it for whatever you have spoken so you will be able to listen that oh. that and now it starts this video talks about information technology all right oh. so it and has recorded my audio and now i can insert it directly into the video now just click on save and this note will be added at that particular moment now here you can see the notification coming up a voice note at 06 of 06 seconds this video talks about information technology and it has been inserted at 24 seconds all right so you're done and then you can just click on continue. This to solve problems, to make sense, to make. 
the video will start playing and now you can add another thing if you wish to so let's say now i am done with the notes and i am done with the if you wish to add another question you can then again select any location where you want to add a question and whatever topic you have covered till that and you can ask a question at that particular place okay now i would like to add an open-ended question at the end okay so this is the end of the video at, and here I want to add an open-ended question. So I just scrolled it to that particular location. You can just check out by playing it that where you want to add a question. So now I'm going to add an open-ended question. So let's say what are your views about this video? And then again all the options are available here. And then just click on save. So this option will also be saved. So at 047 seconds, open-ended question has been added. What are your views about this video? All right. And then you just click on continue. And the video has ended. Okay. So on the left-hand side, you will be able to see the video events that you have added in this particular video. So at 5 seconds, you are able to see a multiple choice question. At 24 seconds, you have added a voice note as well as a written note. And at 47 seconds, you have added an open-ended question. All right. Now, when you are satisfied with all the things, all the content, uh, if you wish to add any more questions, you can just select the location where you want to add that particular question. And that particular question will be added there. Okay. So I think I am done with the event, uh, with the video. Uh, video events now i click on finish to complete my this video editing now i click on finish and here you can see this video has been created completely okay now before showing it i will show you this video in the students uh, view that how they will be able to see it okay so we know that we have added these three options so these three dots or three drops uh, signify that where we have added some content so here we have added an, a particular it. question you can see so this multiple choice question has been added here okay. it get it at this Best location we have added a voice note okay this to solve problems at this, to mix. at this location we have added a open-ended question all right so this is the final video that we have created okay again as soon as you click on these options you were able to see the let me just mute this mute its video audio and uh, when i click on the, uh, this place you are able to see this multiple choice question and you can re-watch it if you wish to uh, clarify that this top this question is concerned with the topic that has been covered till now in this video okay so this is the final video so I think we are done and now I would like to assign it to my students. So this is the video that has been created by me. Okay. Now on the right hand side, you can see the option of assign, edit, duplicate, delete and public. So we'll be discussing all these. So assign is basically for assigning. We'll look at this in a moment. So edit is again to edit this video again. If you wish to change any content, if you wish to change any question if you want to add more questions then again you just need to click on edit as we have done earlier so that the page will open up and again you start editing the video you can duplicate this particular video you can create a copy of this particular video okay you can delete it and then this is the option of public so you want to keep it public so then in, in the public case if you keep it public so it will be available on the edpuzzle platform so as you can see these videos are public or all public videos so all all these persons who have created the private uh, uh, their own version of this particular video so they have posted it on the ed puzzle they have kept it as public so that is why they are visible here if i keep it private okay so then this will not be posted on the ed puzzle platform and it will be available to only my class or my account okay so you can just choose it accordingly so let me make it public again Okay, now I want to assign it to my class. So let's click on assign and I want to assign it to my class. So on the left hand side, you see the first option is assign to a class. So I have a class, I have created one class that was my class. So I can just click on 
my class and then this was computer science class and i want to assign all students so you can assign to all students okay so right now i have not added any student so i'll be showing you when i join as a student okay so i just click on assign all so this assignment will be assigned to each and everybody present in my class okay so or you can save it and you can assign it later and you can add a new class and let me just assign it okay okay on the right hand side you will see the option of start date and due date if you wish to add any date uh, since this is going to be as an assignment you have added questions you have added open ended questions so if you wish to uh, assign a date start date and the end date that when the student should complete it so on the left hand side you can set the start date and on the right hand side you can set the end date so let's say i have created uh, this assignment on 13th and i want to uh, end it on 16th okay so this is the end, uh, start date 13th and i want to end it on 16th so i have given 3 days to them and here you can adjust the timings accordingly okay so just click on save and then this is prevent skipping so this is basically as we all do while watching videos so when you don't like the content you just skip it so if you want to allow your students to uh, skip the video or skip the content then they will be able to skip and the questions also what you have added in the sections in the video will be also be uh, the students will also be able to skip those as well okay so in that case you should not allow your students to skip it so they have to watch complete video and they have to answer the questions okay so if you want to keep it flexible you can keep it as prevent skipping so they will be able to skip the questions as well as the video okay so i'm turning it off and then i click on assign and now this assignment has been assigned so it is uh, giving me the option to see preview this video in the student mode okay so now uh, with, in spite of previewing it we would like to uh, see it in the actual students section okay so so you can see the video has been assigned and uh, the edit option has now gone from here you cannot edit the particular video because it has been assigned now you can edit uh, you cannot edit this particular video all right now i will log in from a student account and i will give you the view of a student how the edpuzzle video looks like to a student 